the Chatelier's principle states that the equilibrium will shift to try to relieve whatever stress that may be applied to the system. All right, and so this we have a we have a reaction that is at equilibrium, um, and actually uh, this is technically not proper to write heat as a reactant or a product. Um, just think about that. How would you just apply heat to a product or a reactant? Um, you can't you can't do that. But um, this is this uh, you see this commonly because um, it, it makes uh, predicting. Uh, shifts in equilibrium more convenient if we write it as a reactant or product. And all we're saying here is that this is a reaction that gives off heat. Uh, in other words, if this is an exothermic reaction. And if it was an endothermic reaction, it would have um, the heat would have been here uh, as a reactant. Um, but in any case, uh, it, it just makes it more convenient to solve these kind of problems. So if we lower the heat or lower the temperature, that's we're doing. We're doing a part A here. Uh, the system will try to shift the equilibrium to increase the heat, right? And since this is an exothermic reaction, it, it's going to favor the product. So the answer to um, the answer to A is um, the equilibrium will shift to try to favor products. All right, let's do uh, B. Well, what happens if we de decrease the pressure? Um, now, pressure is caused uh, by gas particles. Um, uh, very little of it is uh, affected by it. Really negligible is by liquids or solids. So this only uh, applies when you have gases, and these are all gases. So gas coll collisions with the uh, gases colliding. Let me say this again. Gas particles colliding with the uh, walls of the container is what causes pressure. So if we decrease the pressure of this container that has this reaction going on in it, the reaction will uh, the the um, equilibrium will shift to try to increase the pressure. So um, that's the side that has more moles of, or more molecules of gas particles, more gas particles. So if you notice here on the reactant side, we have three, right? We have two there, one there. Uh, you can say three molecules of gases or three moles of gases compared to the two on the product side, right? So this is going to favor the reactants. Right, again, uh, favoring the reactants because that's where you have more moles of gases or more molecules of gases. And by doing so, the system will try to increase the pressure, right? Because the stress is the change in the system is decreasing. So Le Chatelier's principle says it's going to try to undo what is uh, being done. All right, so part C, uh, what happens if we remove the oxygen? So if we decrease the uh, concentration of oxygen, all right, so the system will again try to make more oxygen. It'll try to undo that stress. All right, so uh, oxygen is a reactant. So more of the sulfur trioxide will... To, uh, decompose to try to make more of the oxygen. Okay, so this is also going to favor the reactants. All right, uh, part D, um, adding sulfur trioxide to this equilibrium system. Okay, so the system is in equilibrium, and what would happen to this? Uh, it's already at this balanced state. And what would happen if we increase, if we just added more of this sulfur trioxide gas to it? Well, the system's not going to, you know, just remain at equilibrium. It's going to try to re decrease what you just added. So if we add more of this uh, product, all right, it'll decrease it by going in the reverse uh, direction. In other words, it'll favor the reactants until it reaches a new equilibrium. All right, so there are your answers to question 17.